okay so welcome to pcf guys okay so so in this video okay so the today's video we are going to discuss about the dml commands okay dml means data manipulation language so in this video we'll discuss about the dml okay so in my previous videos i have explained very clearly what is gdl what is dml okay what is dcl and tcl so try to watch the total videos guys okay day by day videos okay i'm completely uh, creating a playlist for this so just uh, so if you don't watch that previous videos i will strongly recommend to watch that videos guys okay i will strongly recommend to watch that videos okay so till now what we discussed the previous classes we'll discuss about the dml commands like uh, total structure okay what ddl sorry we discussed about the ddl commands and what ddl will do okay ddl will talk about the structure only okay create will create the table or create the procedure create the prog so whatever you want to create the object okay create procedure create view create function create uh, triggers create cursors create anything is okay you will use the create command and then alter alter means to alter a table like it's a alteration okay whatever the structure you created to alter the structure we'll go for the alter okay we discussed very clearly in this uh, ddl commands case okay ddl commands we discussed in very clearly okay alter means we can uh, okay if you want to add one more column by using uh, okay so you try to you forgot to uh, add uh, one column in a table then you will alter a table and add column and then you try to add a primary key in a table so if primary key and foreign key will discuss in a uh, later uh, uh, classes but if you forget that so if you add constraint okay if you uh, forget to add constraint something like that so then you will uh, try to do alter case okay alter procedure procedure name alter view view name alter um, function function name alter cursor cursor name alter trigger trigger name something like that okay so alter whatever you create so alter will alter whatever you created the structure okay that we discussed very detailed and drop will drop the drop procedure procedure name drop function function name drop uh, trigger trigger name drop cursor cursor name something like that okay so the total those dml ddl commands totally discuss about the structure only structure okay it will not discuss about the data but in this dml okay it will not talk about the structure guys okay in this dml it will not talk about the structure it will talk about the only data so structure is ready now okay structure is ready now you have to the what you have to insert the data guys okay so structure is not ready now okay you have to store the data so for that we have to insert command okay so insert okay and then after update okay then after delete okay so if you want to update data something so you inserted okay something you uh, want to update so then you can go with the update and delete so wherever the data you want to delete you can delete okay data also you can delete and then select okay select <clears throat> sometimes select will comes under dqs also guys okay data query language okay sometimes select comes under dqs also dqs means data query language okay so now so the first command is insert okay what is insert okay what is the syn syntax of insert okay what is the syntax of insert okay so insert means okay so it will insert the data suppose you you, you have a uh, table ready suppose you have table ready create okay table table name that is employee i think so it's employee okay employee table okay and then so i am not explaining the structure guys okay we already discussed about the structure so i am not explaining it so just so whatever the uh, table is ready so like so here employee id okay it's a integer okay even we discussed about the data type and their size also so in my previous video just uh, uh, okay so name guys okay so try to uh, watch that videos guys okay and name name means var car okay that may be 20 okay and then comma then after uh, so employee salary okay salary salary again money you can write a money okay money data type okay so this is about the structure so we have a structure now okay so we need to insert some data in a structure okay so so let's create this 
this one okay go here and then go to the sql server okay so let's go and so take a copy guys okay so let's create it okay execute okay use sample database means it will go to the sample database okay we, it will use the sample database that is the reason okay use sample database okay which database you want to use just write a user database name and then go okay it will create a uh, it will use that database and then it will create a table okay table in that just a minute guys okay yeah here next so we have to so the table structure is ready if you want to see that okay we can go here and then you can select the, the table structure is ready now okay so we have to insert it okay see so id and name and salary is ready now okay now i have to insert okay insert means insert okay insert syntax so you are inserting data right so insert into okay you have to insert into where okay insert into where so the table structure is ready right so uh, so structure is ready so you have to insert the data into that structure right so insert into the structure what is the structure name this is the table okay the table name is employee okay employee and then okay values and then so you, you you have a two syntaxes okay so the first one is id id means like one and then okay name means some a a okay some a a and salary means something okay so for only text you will get okay quotes case okay for text data so whatever it's a text data so you have to keep quotes single quotes try to understand guys okay so this is the syntax okay remember it okay so whenever you enter the text data so that be that would be in a single quotes so for um, integer and money and uh, date so we don't require double quotes okay remember that guys okay so remember that and so now money salary okay so that may be 5000 or 50000 and then close okay this is one way and so the another way is so you can keep a column names okay keep column names insert okay into a table name so as this a table name is this okay and then you can specify the columns guys okay you can specify the columns okay so how the columns you want okay just open bracket okay so id so suppose if you want the name first okay you can keep name and then okay id and then salary so you can close it and then values okay values and then open bracket so first you can specify the names okay first you can specify the names that is bbb and then guys please go mute yourself okay so bb and then id so next you have to enter id right so as for this column order you have to enter id2 okay and then what salary okay 60000 okay and then close okay both will work guys okay both will work okay let's go here and then we'll try to do that guys okay we'll try to do that okay so let's select this only and then execute okay this will inserted data okay inserted or not you have just you have to select this and then see just a minute guys just a minute okay so now now uh, one more syntax okay this will also work right okay so that is executed and we have seen the results also guys okay we have seen the results also that is all executed and then you can go here and then you can insert this one okay so we'll try to use this okay so just let's uh, take a copy and then okay go on and then okay just try to execute it this one guys okay execute this one okay this is also it. okay so the way both ways you can select okay both ways you can try to execute it guys okay both ways you can to 
insert okay here even you can do one more insertion okay you can here you can do one more insertion okay if you want to more do insertion you can do one more insertion guys okay so that may be uh, so i think it's comma is not required so for multiple uh, insert into okay so let me okay i think here we can do multiple uh, insertions okay same values okay you can use the values comma okay see that case okay so what is the difference anedi you will understand here okay you will understand values okay so i think comma is not required huh? so some ccc ccc and uh, so we'll try to execute this total oh not this one huh? so multiple syntax stop one one right guys yeah okay guys okay this is the way so so if you want to execute okay if you want to insert multiple values okay so next time you should not repeat a values here but you have to keep a comma okay so you have to keep comma and then you can try to insert okay so first of all, let me delete the records now okay uh, we'll discuss delete later but first uh, then uh, we'll first we'll clear that dead data in we'll clear the data we'll discuss delete uh, later but for now i'm deleting the data in this table guys okay in this table okay so if you want to insert multiple okay if you select this there is no data guys okay if you select this there is no data now okay if i want to insert okay if i want to insert multiple records at a time so you can keep a comma and then you can go so record 3 and then okay um some okay here it will be bbb okay it will be bbb and then it will be okay 60000 and it will be something okay cccc okay comma okay and uh, 45000 okay 45000 and then close case okay so you can keep a comma and then you can enter n n n uh, number of records case okay and then you can click okay okay so if you go here and then select the records okay so select the records okay select employee so it will see it will show you the total records case okay total records how many records we have inserted that many records it's showed okay see one aaa two bb and three cc okay so you can uh, use multiple insertion just keeping comma okay even so this one also okay so even this one also the same guys okay comma you can keep comma and then you can enter the values okay you can enter the values okay so suppose some ddd you want to enter ddd so both syntax are same so whatever the way you want to okay so but the thing is the first one is oh the table structure you should know guys okay this table structure you should know so the same way you have to enter the values okay how the same stru table structure is there so what is the first column and what is the second column and what is the third column okay if you try to insert something in a different way okay suppose if you try to keep here uh, so we'll try to keep one more record um that is let's delete this and then execute button okay so we'll try to keep one more record in a wrong order okay how it will uh, behave okay we'll see that okay so here that is ddd first i am keeping syntax dd and then okay four and then some uh, 30000 guys okay 30000 and then close okay so we'll try to execute this okay it will get a get an error guys okay it will get an error why ye data type okay so the data type so we are entering we try to insert integer data okay where we have a integer data the first one is a integer data guys okay the first one is a integer data but we try to keep the text data okay this is a insertion guys okay so you should column order should be same okay so whatever the column order you have in a table the same order you have to insert otherwise it will not take guys okay otherwise it will not take okay so hope that clear okay so we'll keep that and then so cut it and then 
now it will execute okay let's try, let's try this okay hope you are clear okay the order column order is very very important guys okay now it's executed so executed successfully you can see the results guys okay four rows affected the completion time okay so this is executed okay so you can see the results also the data results okay what we entered so what i'm saying is so while inserting data your column order should be same for this one but here so where you are you are uh, saying this to insertion okay you are saying that the column orders like this okay so then only okay then only we can keep the data okay so the same order you can keep place okay otherwise it will not take even here also okay so you have to whatever the order you specify okay so the same order you can enter okay is that clear so this is about the insertion guys okay this is about the insertion and then uh, we'll talk about the update okay so update so i think it's the video length is um, more so we'll talk about the so insertion okay we'll uh, stop recording